what is up guys so have you been applying for jobs and getting rejection after rejection you cast in one application today is rejected you cast in the other tomorrow is rejected you cast in another a month later is rejected and you've been facing rejection over and over again if you are that person then this video is going to be helpful for you because i'm going to be talking about how you can get your cv recognized and how you can get yourself picked up for the job you know i've been coming and posting different jobs every day so what i did this time around is I phoned different companies and asked the HRs how do they shortlist the candidates for interviews because there are certain organizations whereby they advertise uh, jobs for people who are overseas but when they apply they get an automatic rejection that unfortunately this time are no longer taking people from overseas. So I phoned those companies to find out why is it that people are being rejected and I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video why your applications are being rejected and what you can do for your applications to be actually picked and you get invited for interviews. If you are new to my channel, my name is Pauline Popomoyo and in this channel, we keep things real. May you kindly subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos because i've got great videos lined up for you guys without wasting any of your time let's get into it I'm savage. so guys mostly most of the companies which are offering jobs here in the uk are very big companies and by the virtue of being very big companies if people are casting in their applications for example one company said that they've received 7,000 applications some tell you that i've received 12,000 applications and all that the thing is there is no individual who's going to sit down and go through all the 12,000 applications to choose a suitable candidate it is not possible no one can do that remember there was a point in time where i came and said I'm going to be shortlisting candidates for um, a certain company and only 20 candidates were needed by that particular company. So when I posted the advert here on YouTube and asked people to send in their applications to my email, I don't want to lie to you guys, I was overwhelmed because for just 20 positions, I received over 800 applications and i found it very difficult to go through each individual application and choose a suitable candidate so at the end of the day i couldn't go through all the 800 applications and choose just 20 candidates you understand so what that basically means is from the 800 applications even if there was someone who was excellent even if there was someone who had a phd in nursing was a doctor or whatever from all those applications i was not going to be able to identify that particular individual because i cannot possibly go through 800 applications same applies with the huge companies who are currently recruiting from overseas there is no individual who's going to go through 8,000 applications so what is happening is 95 percent of the big companies are using what we call the the applicant tracking system i've talked about this in one of my videos but it seems like most of the people are still not aware of the applicant tracking system so i'm going to be sharing with you today what an applicant tracking system is and how you can use it to your advantage so that your cv is picked and shortlisted for the interviews so what is an applicant tracking system an applicant tracking system is a critical part of the hiring process and makes life easier for HR managers and relevant stakeholders. It is a software program or part of a series of software solutions that can manage the entire hiring and recruitment process from top to bottom. This is a computer software which is designed to shortlist candidates for interview, which means Come on! Question, is that an S or a 5? So it's more like a robot scans your application first before sending it to the HR team. So if you are found to be suitable by the HR team, that's when you are invited for interviews. And that's how the application tracking system works. So if you fail to beat the application tracking system, this is what happens to your CVs. The 
weekend tracking system can be designed for example to choose maybe 100 cvs which means from 10,000 people who are applying only 100 cvs are going to be selected by the computer so it doesn't matter how good your cv is it doesn't matter whether you've got 25 years experience it doesn't matter whether you've got 15 years experience or zero years experience if your cv is not able to beat the application tracking system your application is not going to be selected to move to the next session where it's taken to the hr your application is going to be automatically rejected by the applicant tracking system so so basically the computer pre-filters the cvs before they are sent to the human resources manager and if you're not able to pass that stage your cvs are circulating somewhere in space there or straight into the recycle bin and you keep on posting applications after applications after applications and you will not be picked for interviews even if we say tell her make your cv to suit the job that you're applying for you are actually supposed to tell her make your cv to suit the application tracking system and if you tell her make your cv to suit the application tracking system it's also going to suit the job that you're applying for applicant tracking system is more like a it's more like it utilizes a search engine optimization for example if you're coming here on youtube if you are searching for jobs for example if you say healthcare assistant jobs in uk you have used the keywords for healthcare assistant jobs in uk and youtube is going to read those words healthcare assistant jobs in uk and what kind of videos are they going to generate they are going to generate videos with those key words healthcare assistant jobs in uk same applies to the application tracking system application tracking system it tracks the keywords and according to research in one job advert or in a job description application tracking system actually picks 43 keywords yes you heard me right 43 keywords which means if your cv is sent there and is being scanned by the computer the computer is looking for 43 keywords to match the job description which is given and if your cv does not match the 43 keywords or if your cv is not scored for example maybe the computer gives a score of 95 percent to 100 percent and they're taking it from 95 percent to 100 percent or 80 percent to 100 percent and you only have 40 percent of the keywords needed which means your cv is not going to be shortlisted your cv is not going to be recognized your cv is not going to go to the hr you are going to continue sending in 100 applications 200 applications 300 applications until you eventually send a cv which is going to beat the applicant tracking system i'm going to demonstrate to you what you need to do for your cv to be recognized and before we get into it don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos for now let's get into it Sometime last week, I posted uh, openings at Kingsley, uh, jobs for support workers. And what I did is I went to the royal profile for the support worker. So basically most organizations or all organizations, they will give you the job description or what they expect from you, the skills, the attitudes and all those things. So what you are supposed to do is you go to the job profile or the job description and you copy everything in that job description and in this instance i only copied the first page yet it's a uh, one of three pages so after copying this you take it to word cloud any form of word cloud can work in this case i used shapigo so when you go to shapigo you go and paste everything so when you paste the text from the job description it is going to generate all the words for example i've pasted all the words here then i say okay which means after saying okay it's going to generate and after generating uh, this is what is going to come out as you can see it has picked out the keywords clients date activities safety accurate worker equipment residents and all those things and what you do is you go back to your cv and when you're looking at your cv 
you start from your personal profile which is the first quarter of your cv and you're going to use or you're going to take some of those keywords and use them in your cv for example you can say a conscientious and compassionate support worker or a care worker with over seven years work experience in the provision of support to clients with learning disability and then maybe go on to say well practicing the delivery of the best possible care and assistance to clients to encourage individual development so just from my personal profile i've picked at least five of the keywords there i've used worker clients work caring best to incorporate into my cv so you do the same for your skills and you also do the same for your job description as you can see just by looking at those words you can create so many things for example you can say assisted residents with activities of daily living ensuring safety and so forth and so on i'm picking the words that i'm looking at there so that is what you're supposed to be doing with your cv looking at all those keywords and changing whatever words that you have in your cv as long as there are similar words if you get what i'm saying and you should have at least 43 keywords in your cv for it to be picked up by the application tracking system and if you are looking at the, um, the words which are generated you can see that the words which appear more often than others are the bigger words like equipment home visitors worker ensure assist assist accurate so all those words which are bigger there are key words which are appearing mostly compared to the rest of the words and you have to make sure that you put them in your cv in a natural way remember the computer is not a person it is just programmed to pick only the keywords so for you to stand out you have to incorporate all these keywords so that the computer is able to identify you guys i hope this information has been helpful to you when a job advert is posted take your time do not rush to go and apply and send in your application just take your time take their job description take it to word cloud generate the keywords use them in your skills use them in your professional statement use them in your job description the job description that you're currently having and all that and make sure that if you're applying for a job or if you have worked as a carer you can indicate it that healthcare assistant slash carer healthcare assistant slash support worker or whatever to make your job title suit the job that you're applying for so that you are part of the 25% which is chosen by the applicant tracking system or you are part of the 100 people out of the 10,000 who are chosen for the application tracking system and guys if you haven't joined my telegram group yet it is high time that you join the telegram group because this group has been helpful it's uh, it's beautiful to see people from different nations people from philippines people from zambia botswana nigeria ghana coming in together to help each other look for jobs and they are sharing jobs every day giving each other advice and it's such a beautiful thing so if you haven't joined my telegram family i will leave the link in the description box so that you join the family and be rest assured you will be helped a whole lot in that telegram group uh, a special thanks to pearl who is the admin of the telegram group and she's been doing a marvelous job answering people's questions and all that we really appreciate the hard work that you're doing and guys to me it's a beautiful thing to see people coming together regardless of where they come from it's really wonderful so kindly join the telegram group this is all that i wanted to share with you guys thank you so much for always coming back to my channel i really really appreciate it and i will see you in my next video bye